Hey everybody, you're listening to the Wholesome Hoodlum Let's Play Podcast. Chew boy, Raul, and I'm joined here with Keaton. Say hi. What up? Richard. Hey. And my good old friend, Gia. Gia, say hello. Hello. Gia was the guy that was supposed to be on the normal podcast last week, but bailed on me because he's a cocksucker. But here he is. Um, and we're here to talk about game news. I guess not just game news. Now we've got entertainment stuff since you guys, since Keaton very much wants to talk about the new trailer to Star Wars. So let's start off with oh, yeah. that. Uh, what'd you guys think? Uh, it's fucking great. You, you watch it. Yeah, you need to watch it. Do what that. the fuck? What are you doing, Richard? <laughs> Gia thought it was okay. All right, let's start with you, Gia. Why was it just okay? No, uh, it was just a trailer. I mean... I'm trying not to get... But it's Star Wars. I mean, I kind of feel the same way. I felt the same way, and then I saw it, and I was like, damn, that looks pretty good. I just got Hard Light again on Destiny. Twice in the same day. What the day. hell? Wow. That's no, less fucking awesome. More light? I don't know. Nope, nope. It's... it's. Oh, no, it's more light. It is more. It's 305. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, I'm going to just... Infuse this into, one of into this, this motherfucker. Uh, okay, so so I feel the same way about trailers and reaction videos and talking about trailers. It's like trailers are cool, but like I never look at a trailer and I'm like, this has made my day. You know, this experience is greater than because I saw this fucking trailer. I never feel that way. So the fact that people make a business out of like watching trailer rea reactions and shit is just it, it's insane to me. Uh, unless we're talking about like Angry Joe. He does some cool shit where he, like, breaks down trailers and shit. I was talking to G about this before the podcast. Uh, and it's a really good, like, in-depth analysis of, like, what he's seeing and whether or not he thinks it's going to be successful with the audience. But, uh, yeah, I, I generally feel like that. And then I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, my God, it's Star Wars. Angry Joe, give Raul money. Uh, Angry Joe, give me money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for remembering. Um, uh, so yeah, so I thought it was really cool. I showed my mom. That's when I saw it the second time. And she was like, "We're there. We're gonna go see that." And I was like, "Yeah, mom, I know. <laughs> you don't need to like affirm anything to me." Uh, I wish I could do that, well, mom. But she, she but cares you, nothing you, about Star Wars. You, you take your oh, your, I was gonna say you, you you and your mom watch movies all the time though, don't you? Yeah, and she just has no. She doesn't care about sci-fi. Uh, she saw A New Hope when it came out, and she hated it. Oh. But that's my least favorite Star Wars, but behind Attack of the Clones, so I can kind of understand. Wait, wait, wait! A New Hope is your least favorite Star Wars, and not Jedi. I mean, I like Jedi more than New Hope, actually. Yeah. That's weird. I Clones, mean, I guess I could see the, that. A New Hope are my least two favorites. I just Attack New of the Clones is really everybody's fa least favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, that's for for good. Okay, so so. <clears throat> no, it's just because it sucked. It was terrible. It was... Okay, well, when you look at the original trilogy for, like, what it was... Or not the original trilogy, the, the fucking prequel trilogy for what it was, it was... It's a kind of interesting story if you kind of... Get, if you can really get behind the idea of Palpatine manipulating political influences to become the Emperor. Really fucking cool. But... Yeah. And smart, but, like, boring for fucking three movies. And... Attack of the Clones is the middle one of those three movies, so it's awful. It's just a boring fucking movie. Um, on top of all of its other fucking There is literally, problems. like, no saving grace to that movie. Yeah, there's a fight with Jango Fett and Obi-Wan, and you watch it, and you're like, this is awful. There's so much... It's so CGI'd. It's just bad. It's just bad. Like, even the fight on Geonosis... Right, in the fucking... Okay. In the fucking arena. Yeah, it was just... It was just yeah. all okay. Oh, I and got the, the uh, probably Mace Windu fucking decapitating Django. Yeah, I got the the Iron Banner <laughs> uh, grenade launcher. Cool. Yeah. It's probably not as good yeah. as my other grenade launcher. Uh, but yeah, no. Back on topic of the actual trailer. Um, yeah, what do you think, Keaton and Gia? Gia, you start first. Why were you Why are you unenthused? You didn't no. see anything in it that like was really cool. No. Nothing that stood to me is just, I don't know. Nothing really stood out. I mean, there's some reveal shots. Maybe some nice editing tricks. Stuff like that. About well, it. All I have to say to that is, I hate you! <laughs> well, then convince me what made it great. What made it great. 
Uh, it's the next Star one. Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Fucking great. No, uh, okay. If I'm really going to break down, all right. Uh, I liked seeing Snoke in person very briefly. Uh, he looks like a vagina. That was cool. Yeah, he does. He looks Snoke, weird. Snoke's looks um, like, Snoke looks like a pussy. Not like a pussy. The Gorilla like Walkers. The Gorilla Walkers look fucking sweet. Um, those new land speeder type things look really weird that drag along the fucking desert. Um, I think this one's going to be like the best shot movie, like cinematography. Cinematography wise, like it looks like it's shot very well. And the whole red theme that's going on with this one, like in the in the posters, the trailer, which I mean that's not really to say anything, but it, it's cool. It's different, you know. He it likes the like, he likes the motif. I like the red theme. Yeah. The motif I feel like, like they're doing that because it seems like it's going to be a much more dark side centered story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it, they're also making it seem like the dark side's actually space Nazis this time. Richard, shut the fuck up. You haven't seen it. <laughs> You mute your mic, you go see it. <laughs> Shut I your mouth. Watched, like the first 20 seconds. Well then get the fuck out of here and watch the next three minutes, asshole. Why is it so long? Oh man, I don't know. Life is so hard. You have to use your internet m magic fucking box to look up your trailer to this fucking Star Wars movie. Jesus. Anyway. Um... Yeah, no, I like I like how it definitely seems like it's going to be a darker film, because uh, I'm I've been bitching about that forever. Because I figured Disney's just going to bitchify everything, because that's what it does, makes everything family fr family friendly, and I think family friendly shit is for bitches. But uh, it definitely seems a little dark. They had they had like one nice moment, and that was the fucking stupid little alien bitch toy that they're going to try and sell to all those stupid bitch children. <laughs> the yeah, the bird thing, the bird penguin fuck thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, it looked... It's called a pog. Pog? Yeah, that, I think that's what it is, yeah. Um, it, he looks stupid, but, you know, kids are going to eat that shit up, so whatever. Anyway, but beyond that, it seemed like it was cool. Fucking, seems like there's going to be a lot more of Kylo Ren and the dark side, and unfortunately more of Snoke, even though he looks hideous. Um... There was even a scene where he's like he's like reaching out Snoke, and this is like the first shot you get of him. It's actually his scene, but like in the trailer where he's like fulfill your destiny, and fucking and he's like and fucking the next scene is Ray, and you can actually see Snoke right behind her, yeah. um, and she's like floating in the air doing some crazy shit. So there'll there'll yeah, be a, a meetup between on. the two. What's the theory? Uh, Let's hear it. That Snoke steals the life force from people. Hmm. So they're thinking maybe that's what he's trying to do to Ray. That would make sense. Yeah. I mean, oh, that kind of. Will... Go ahead. Sorry, Gio. Kylo and Ray are gonna be switching, like swapping sides. Yeah, I'm wondering about that myself because it seems like I mean, there's even a section in I don't know. Some of this even looks like it's flashbacks because there's parts of it where like you can see the Jedi Temple burning and all this shit that like. We as, as, a, apparently haven't seen before, or we def definitely did not. Apparently, we definitely did not see in the uh, 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 the Force Awakens. So, yeah, there's a chance that like Kylo Ren might be getting like. There's a sorry, I actually got off track. Uh, what I was gonna say was there's that flashback scene of that, and then there's a scene where Luke is talking to somebody. I assume Kylo Ren, and he's saying this isn't gonna go how you think, and so maybe he, that's his attempt of trying to warn Kylo Ren of what it's like being on the dark side. Um, but yeah, so it seems like there's some interesting stuff going on. There's even a scene where he's about to kill Leia. Possibly, maybe. it's I don't know. Depending on the way it's cut, you can't really tell. Yeah, because uh, I remember reading comments that, judging by how the people are reacting in the background, doesn't look like they're in any immediate danger. Right. Right. Yeah, no, that's a good good point. Good point, Gia. Um... But you can't like the thing about these trailers is that you can't tell anything because they're like in some if they're done s smartly if trailers are cut properly, then they're done in a way that makes you want to know more and you've already seen a lot. But you uh, generally want to be surprised, so they want to like throw in some stuff that makes you assume something's going to go one way, so you can be surprised about it the next the when you go in there. And I feel like we're probably going to get a lot of that because they don't want to blow. I mean. It, it, it's not a new thing to talk about how trailers have ruined movies. In fact, it's been going on for a long time. And it's even happened to other Star Wars movies in the past with, like, The Phantom Menace and Dark, Darth, uh, Darth Maul's lightsaber. Yeah, like, they didn't have to show that in trailer. So they have a long history of people bitching to them about whether or not 
showing a trailer is going to ruin something. Or showing too much in the trailer is going to ruin something. So I'm hoping that they don't. Um, where the fuck is this public event? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, so, what was the next thing I was going to say about Star Wars? I totally lost my train of thought, unfortunately. More but about the about it was definitely about the trailer. trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely about the trailer. Uh, all in all, I just think it looks fucking cool. Um, I didn't think I was gonna get excited about it because I'm typically a pretty cynical dude. If you can't, ha if you fucking can't tell anybody listening, but uh, I was, I saw it and I got kind of hyped. It was, it was cool, and I was like, cool. And I was expecting way worse. Like I, I know that the director said you shouldn't watch the trailer if you want to go in there not yeah, knowing that's anything. Exactly what I was saying because I watched it. I'm like, what was he? But so like, who's gonna know? stop me from watching a goddamn uh, Star, Star Wars, Wars trailer. trailer? You know, it's like, uh, no, I'm gonna watch the trailer. Sorry. Uh, but when I saw it, I wasn't I wasn't over overwhelmed with a feeling of like, wow, I really wish I didn't see that. Which is a cool feeling. I'm glad, obviously. Um, there's a little Super Saiyan shit going in there with the rocks floating off the ground. You guys see that? Yeah, see, Luke Luke seems scared. That's another thing that really got me. Like, he doesn't want to train her. Well, Luke was never a very force-powerful guy. Luke yeah, is like an like old Jedi, guy. right? I've seen raw power like this once before. If it didn't scare me then, it sure as hell does not now. Like, okay. He said it, he said it hurt sure as hell does scare him, right? You said doesn't? Well, he said in the beginning, he's like, I've only seen raw power like this once before. If it didn't scare me enough then, it does now. Yep. So, like, I guess he's talking about Kylo. Possibly. He could be talking Possibly. about Vader. Who knows? Be, yeah, he could, yeah. Um... Well, all of this Star Wars movie talk gets us to the next subject, which I really wanted to talk about, and that's Battlefront. I don't know if I talked about it. Wait, wait, actually, no. I want to go back and say something about last week's podcast really quickly. There was a section where I was talking about the developers feeling like they couldn't speak to uh, anybody, speak to gamers because they we're too toxic, and I was too high to, like, finish off my point. But the point I was trying to make was maybe if developers were more forward about the things that they were doing, especially some of the unscrupulous shit, and this actually works in talking when you're referencing Battlefront, but especially some of the unscrupulous shit and who made them do it and why, maybe we would be a little less angry at them for fucking up games that we like. I totally think that you shouldn't be selling, you shouldn't be sending death threats or telling people that you're going to rape them. But I also think that developers do some sketchy ass shit and nobody says anything to them after the game comes out people bitch but nobody ever brings it up as, in terms of journalism and so there's really never even an opportunity for them to come forward and be like yo yeah we didn't want to put microtransactions in our game but Activision or Bethesda or whoever made us at least fucking open up a report so we know who to blame and then maybe then we won't be threatening your children not that I think that's okay because obviously that's wrong but like you know shit there's two sides to that coin. You can't just bitch about people. You can't be horribly dishonest with the people that buy your shit and be like, you guys are really, really toxic. I just think it's bullshit. So that, that was all the, the point I was trying to make, or, or at least was going to make, but got off track last week. Moving forward, I wanted to talk about Battlefront. And uh, uh, I, I don't I don't know. They, what's up? What's up? I, you want to chime in about this? That, they just can't be that open, though, because... The person that's publishing them and mainly back. I them, don't give a fuck. They need to stop bitching then. They need to say that we can't say anything. Then don't don't bitch about people being angry at you for I, buying I shit that's not complete. Regardless of what they say, they still don't deserve death threats. I didn't say they deserve death threats. I explicitly I said they didn't deserve death threats. But they can't just rope those people in with people who are angrily criticizing their game for bullshit. And it, it seems like an easy avenue to do that. Almost kind of feels like that was the whole goal of that statement in the first place. Keaton, Gia, thoughts? <laughs> Any at all? Uh, no, I, mean, I agree that they shouldn't be surprised or blame people that be uh, critical of their choices. 
And people are going to be critical of their choices no matter what. Let's not, let's not like, fuck it up and act like haters aren't going to hate sometimes. Or just totally criticize your shit. You're getting, no, no game is perfect. But there's a distinct difference between that and saying, like, yo, you said this at one point, and then it never happened. Or, you know, you said you were not going to have tra microtransactions or a free season pass or whatever, and it never happened. Like, you know, like... I just want them to be able to be called on their shit. I mean, yeah, that's kind of the whole go back to the whole No Man's Sky thing. Oh, you're going to be able to play with people, and then you could, you could. Right? I mean, Did people react toxically to that? Games. Yeah, absolutely. But also, they lied through their fucking teeth about that game. Yeah. Not they, Sean Murray specifically. I don't even want to bring in everybody else related to that. I mean, they did come out with a bunch of updates that did add a lot of stuff that they did talk about, but I mean, it's, they were talking about having it Tell me, you know? tell me the game is going to come with this shit when I pay $60. Not what you're going to do yeah. eventually, because everybody might be dead in six months. I don't give a fuck about your roadmap plan. I didn't expect the game to be cost $60. Well, it shouldn't have. 40 tops. 30. It should have been a $30 game. That's why I said 40 top. If I was going to buy it that day with those features, $30. Yeah. Um, Let's not even get on Absolver. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah Battlefront. That one, I didn't. Battlefront. Um, so, it's like, I don't know if we were, I just keep saying this and I get off track, but I don't know if I was talking about it before, with like standard. with... Uh, Fuck it. Hold on, I need to mute so fail safe. She doesn't shut the fuck up. Um, with with whether or not I thought the game was legit after playing the beta, because I wanted to. I really I liked the beta a lot playing it. But then when you get into like real progression in that game, it's like people have said it's the most egregious example of pay to win in a full price video game. And usually I don't agree with people when they say shit like that because there's always another side. Like, you know, people were bitching about the shaders in Destiny. And while I don't think that's an optimal situation, I definitely don't think it's as bad as people were making it out to be. So, like, usually I generally disagree about when people outrage about shit <coughs> in, in video games uh, unless I get my hands on it. But when you, you just have to take a real basic look at um, Battlefront and see that it's kind of, like, crazy... You can get, first off, let's just get into, like, the damage boost and reduction. You can get up to a 40% damage boost or reduction on a normal gun or any weapon. I don't even know how it, it probably is broken down based on gun and class just to increase the number of drops that you have to deal with. But, like, in no game ever should you have a permanent, like, cross-the-board boost to damage in any percentage, ever. Uh, or a damage reduction, because... Like, that's just insane. Maybe, like, you have an ultimate or whatever, you've got damage reduction. That makes sense. But beyond that, I, I can't ever consider that's okay. Um, so that's in the game. Then that those drop randomly for whoever, and there's obviously paid loot boxes as part of the problem. Secondarily, all the progression in the game is locked behind this same loot box fucking thing. Like, you can't... You don't unlock a weapon for leveling up. You have to either buy the weapon with scrap, which you get, like... 10 at a time or whatever 20 at a time out of more loot boxes and even that's based on RNG or you have to fucking get it awarded to you via a loot box so like what is a really fucking cool game without a doubt is now almost completely ruined by this pay to win shit see they should have just went the like in Battlefield 1 they had loot boxes and shit uh, but it was just aesthetic, like customization options. There was no per right, and that's buff, legit. Nothing like that. I don't. Uh, nobody minds that. From what I've seen, I didn't see one on like a normal character. Uh, I watched Total Biscuits kind of like coverage of like just pay to win anything, like microtransactions and fucking games in general. But he went into depth about the Battlefront 2 stuff. I didn't see anything about like on a normal character, like having you know damage reduction. What I did see was a um. Like a Boba Fett that had 100% um, damage reduction as long as he was using a certain move. I was like, oh, okay. Well, how is that there. okay? Boba Fett's like a power character on his own. Right, but that's the thing. It's like, it's something that you're not going to be all the time. And it's like, when you get it, you want to feel more like a hero. So it's just, you know, 
That was the progression I was getting. But You're already crazy shit. powerful as any one of those heroes. That's a terrible idea for balancing. And never mind the randomness of it all. It wasn't for balance. It's just for to have a fun game. That's not fun. A, an unbalanced game isn't fucking fun, Richard. You're like, no, I didn't mean it like that. Well, what is this like sound of you being like, 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 fucking overwhelmed by me? An unbalanced game isn't fun, but it's just, it's the moment of, like, there's, for you, no, you're not going to, like, really buy into it, but people are going to be like, cool, I can go on with Boba Fett, and I can go on a fucking tear with Boba Fett. People are going to love that. It's just for those moments, and it's going to be a very... I mean, you know, people Richard... People like Boba Fett. I don't, but... Yeah, Boba Fett's a useless dick. <laughs> if we're going to talk about more Star Wars, Boba Fett did nothing for three movies and then got eaten by a goddamn planet. Sarlacc. So, fuck him. Um... And he was just a dick, on top of that. I mean, honestly, I like Django more than Boba. He had more screen time. More okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody likes Django. <laughs> Ever. Uh, no, no, moving on. But we're back to the original point. R Richard, whenever we talk about video game stuff, you're always on the side of the developer. You, you just don't give a fuck. No. Have to play You're making excuses games. for him, man. Like, what the fuck? And, and excuses that, by the way, don't make any sense. You know, they're just like, yeah, no, it's just unbalanced gameplay. They're doing that for fun. <laughs> I didn't, except I didn't frame it that way. What I'm saying is they want people to be able to just go on a tear. They want people to have that moment of, like, I feel unstoppable for this short period of time that I have this person. Are we really that scary? Like, that's all, that's all it is. It's not like I'm saying... You know, like, oh, they are bouncing it because for the people that are going to be on that side, they're going to be fucking loving it. Okay, well, well, here's the next thing. And look, this is this is also minimizing the problem, right? If it's on Django, f or fucking Django, if it's on fucking Boba Fett, and it's on all the heroes, it's, on any hero. it's probably on anything. It's on any hero. That's what I was saying. It was just... Hero. Okay, but based on what you've seen or what they might do, like, they've already obviously proven they don't give a fuck about balancing the game. So... What, you think you think they stopped there, or did you think they really just went all out? Because obviously people are going to want a 100% or a 40% bonus to damage or life or damage reduction for their normal character. People want that. It's a fun thing. Right, I'm just, I'm following your line of logic to its most logical conclusion. So, like, dude, it's just, that's trash. Like, why would anybody want to play that shit? Gia, how do you feel about this? Um... <clears throat> I don't like the idea of it if it's pay to win. But in the You're end, also a big fan of dice, you in particular. Was. Oh no, I like I haven't Really? I want to hear more about that later. I just haven't played Battlefield in a while. Okay, so it's not it's... Well, I'm sorry. I I'm, I'm kind of not a fan of dice anymore if you haven't if you can't tell. Um I, I've been, you know what the funny thing was, just before we get into your official opinion about it, because you, you said you don't, you're not okay with the practice or the idea. Um, the fucking, the game was a lot of fun, and it actually made me really miss playing Battlefield. But moving forward, what do you think of it? Sorry. Again, I don't like that, but the only thing I can really do is just, which I'm probably not going to do. So you're, so you're saying the only thing you could do is just not buy it, and you're probably not going to not buy it. <laughs> I can't hear you. Not going to buy it. You're not going to buy it? Wow, good choice. Good decision. Well, And I would encourage everybody else who doesn't like the idea of that not to buy it also. Keaton's already pre-ordered it, so Keaton, what do you think? After, Since you, got, you, you figured this out after you pre-ordered, what do you think? Hold on. Okay. Well, right then. <laughs> how how long are we holding on for? Should we just move forward? What were you saying? Who was saying what? What now? <sighs> Richard. I mean, I'm not. You're not. It. You're not well, buying it regardless. The deluxe. No. So, if, like, okay. If you don't like it, then obviously you just don't buy it. But the problem is, <laughs> it's gonna sell. Yeah. Like millions. So, like we already discussed it, it doesn't really affect me because I bought the deluxe edition. So I'm gonna be one of those people. No, it's going to affect you. But it's going to affect you. It might, even if it affects you positively, it's affecting you. 
think of it like this. Yeah. So you get the card, you're like, cool, I can get the damage reduction or like the power up state, and you're gonna be like, oh fuck, I'm limited at 20%. I can only have 20% extra power instead of the 40 or 50 that the game's get that lets me have, but I gotta work for it. And then there's gonna be the people that just buy it instead. And then once again it's still gonna separate you. There's gonna be a gap. Right. I mean when you really think about it. If it's random, or if the boosters are random, or if you get extra boxes or whatever, there's going to be somebody who bought oh, the exact same package. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's going to be somebody who bought the exact same package as you, and is still way more, is way better equipped to and deal with you specifically. Luck. Right. Somebody could just have better luck, and then you're fucked. It will affect you. So, I mean, I guess really we got to wait and see. But like, it, there's no point because I just think we all know how this is going to turn out. Well, like, right. all I really plan on playing is heroes versus villains in Starfighter. I mean, itself. that's the thing. It's not. It's not as if I was really hurting for a multiplayer game. I don't really like them so much anyway. The best I can do these days is Destiny, and that's really not saying much. Um, so I wasn't really into that, but I knew that that was going to be the main appeal of the game, right? The multiplayer. And so I would I wanted to check out the story. I wanted to check out. I wanted to check out the story. I wanted to check out the. Uh, the split screen. I wanted to check out arcade mode because they got some cool features there, it looks like. But I think I might actually pass it up for, of all things, Call of Duty so I can check out more zombies. As long as that's split screen, I'm going to grab it. So. I don't know. Nothing else I can. What else is coming out next month? Can we just, like, ignore this horrible shit? Ass. Nothing. It's just Call of Duty and just fucking Battlefront. So yeah, I mean, it's just more than anything, it's also disappointing. And you're right, it's going to sell, and it's it's going to sell especially well because the new movie's coming out the month behind it. So oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, really, this it, it's it's hard to that's, make people aware or say something. One. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, but it's hard to make people aware or say something. But it's just really disappointing. Um, so yeah, the Battlefront bullshit was the first thing on the list. Anybody got some things they'd like to talk about, gaming-related specifically? Uh, no, not really. That microtransaction thing, when I saw that, I was like, wow. Yeah. Is, uh, I, when, I mean, just to touch on that really quickly, they also said right after Titanfall 2 came out with like their their free... Uh, pass, they're free, well, they, they have no season pass and all their shit's re shit releases for free, basically. Um, but right after Titanfall 2 came out and the announcement for Battlefront 2 happened, they came out and said, we're going to have a, a free, uh, no, no season pass, all the DLC is going to be free. Um, and that's because they were going to do this. And a lot of people kind of back then predicted it was going to go this way because DICE has kind of been doing that for the last couple of games. Uh, and EA definitely wants it. Well, they, but, they're finding out that since, like, Overwatch did loot boxes and they're just giving everyone free stuff, like, hey, how, do, how can we do it? And then they kind of fuck up the whole loot box thing anyways. Right. I, w I, would, I don't think I would ever be pissed off at the way Overwatch works because I get loot boxes in Overwatch by the handful for playing whatever, you know? I mean, yeah. there's... What the fuck Quiet. is that sound? Oh, and it stops. Mm -hmm. It stops when I bring something up. Fuck oh, you. Yeah. Probably Keaton. Um, yeah, so it's definitely it's definitely going off of the success of Overwatch. In in a sense, when you think about it, just having loot boxes in your game kind of makes you think if you if you're one of the if you're a casual consumer, oh, it's like Overwatch, right? If you played Overwatch, a lot of people did. If you played Overwatch, liked it, most people probably did because it was a good game. Um, and you see a loot box, you're like, oh, loot boxes. I know this, you know, but it's really a fucking horrible fucking grab to get you in, and then you're stuck. Sixty bucks yeah. later. Just Overwatch has the benefit being that did it. Right, exactly. And I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love me some Overwatch, especially now. But like, I'm the first one to bitch about how not every game needs to be like Overwatch. Not every game needs to be a hero shooter. And this one isn't. It's a class-based shooter, which is great, except it's got loot boxes out the ass. I bet you there's going to be some things that have, like even no. You can go in bare bones, and they're just gonna have like a classic mode. I bet you that's not going to happen. Movies? Why not? And if it does, it'll happen six months after release. Right, but I'm saying it's not gonna be a release, but they're gonna, they can have it. And okay, it'll be a great well. Introduction for people who are new to the game, because they're not coming in when people already have had it for like six months. They're gonna go in there bare bones with everybody else. That's a I mean. Though. I mean, I, look, I, I just think, like, it's just, 
Well, it's shitty practices, as we've already seen um, or said. But, uh, God damn it, I just... What was what was the next thing on the agenda? Right, moving on from fucking that. That was like a half hour right there. Uh, Wolfenstein ad campaign. This happened earlier in the week, and it turned out to just be people bitching and, tar like, tar tar like, just stirring the shit cauldron, basically. But, um, so, the ad campaign for Wolfenstein earlier in this week said something along the lines of... Uh, make America Nazi free again. Obviously, playing off of the "Make America Great Again" campaign it, for uh, what we call it. And initially, oh, some internet trolls pissed, got pissed off and were like, blah, 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 trying to defend Nazis as people do. Uh, off. Off. As people do these days, for reasons that I can't quite understand. But um, and then there were the, there was the obvious reaction to that. So it became like this short conversation about how how a video game can ignite such a political like conversation. But then somebody said, yeah, but that's only a political conversation today, because back in the 90s when fucking Wolfenstein was made, nobody would be like, but the Nazis had a point. Um, and and that's kind of the beginning and the end of that. Thanks, but the thing, Andy. right. That's kind of the beginning of the end of that, and the end of that. But the thing that I thought of when I saw this was, even the fact that somebody's complaining is crazy since we've been killing nameless, faceless brown people in FPSs forever, and people have bitched about it, and there's really never, ever been a conversation about that either. You know, like, I, I don't know. I, in the past, I've always been like, whatever. I know we're in Venezuela. I'm not Venezuelan for the record, but, like, I know we're in Venezuela it's killing in Venezuelan days, fucking... Uh, uh, terrorists, but they're terrorists. They're, they're not me. I don't. I can separate myself from this issue, right? Um, not that gaming needs to be that serious, but it, it's kind of like an overabundance of game. Even good games like Uncharted, you basically just killing brown people the whole game. Um, so yeah, I mean, Gia, what do you think of this? Is the only other somewhat brown person here? No, uh, I didn't get yeah, Right, yeah, it was it was really quick. It was a flash in the pan kind of thing. It was like a Twitter battle, but it's it came up on like the game section of Reddit. So I I investigated the comments, and that's where they're like, this is just people bitching on Twitter. Since when is this news? Um, but no, more specifically yeah. about the killing brown people. Like, how do you feel when we play when you play Battlefield Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean that's a I that's a historical like you know story, right? Like, it's a little bit different. I can see why people are worried, you know, but like about Nazis? Or... No, 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 just the influence of what game, how that game can influence like who play it. But for me, it's just I can separate that from reality. I know I'm a sane human being. Yeah. Right, I'm not yeah, saying that. Richard. I'm not. First off, yeah, Richard, don't don't go jumping the gun. You don't know that for sure. You haven't been diagnosed. Oh but, no, I'm not. I'm not. I am speaking for him. But the point I, th that's the thing though. Like, I I think we all like can agree on that to an extent. That's why I don't ever have. I don't want to like feel the conversation about violence in video games because it's stupid. I'm a normal person, and I can difference differentiate myself between real thing and not. Or the real things and the not real things, right? We should and we should all be able to do that and to assume that other people are the same. But you know, fucking children play video games, and children are, as I've stated, the worst and s terribly stupid. So you know, y and let, let's let's you know, the conversation could always be, why don't those people just not let their kids play video games where they're killing brown people? But dude, yeah, I mean, could, that never happens. Go back to like. 96, Columbine, and fucking, oh, they played Doom, so they shot up their entire school. Like, really? No. That, that's well, that's that's Columbine. not that's not the point I was going to make, but I'm just saying, like, we have a tendency, especially in our media in America, to, like, aggrandize the white soldier character without any kind of secondary thought about his impact in the area that he's in, or the reasons, or, like, the whys or the hows, yeah. right? Like, even, even when you think about things that are totally justified, you go back and look at, like, the real reason why America did anything, and it's like, this is kind of shitty. And so we've had, like, a decade and, and some change of, like, Call of Duty games where that's basically been the story, and people brought up that that might be a problem, right? Like, it's not necessarily a problem on, even basis on, on the basis of race, but just, like, the way that we aggrandize military time and service it's kind of like 
a little gross. I've always thought that way. I mean, I always thought about it after I kind of got over my love of shooters because I really like shooters. I like competing in online games. But generally, when you look at like the story, can't the, the things that pass for campaigns in those games? They're just kind of like blowing the military. And I just think that's kind of gross and shitty. And and especially since like you know we're talking about people where like you know fuck countries are people, countries that are also that American people are also mainly comprised of too. I mean it's not like this hasn't happened before in the past. Uh, in terms of like war and, and shit like that so like i don't know i think really the bigger thing and i guess i brought this up because i've always felt like this but the bigger conversation is just that like war isn't fun or a game and it's almost always shitty and like there's also never really any great reason to send millions of young people to their death but the way that games treat that is not the case you know and does anybody know i mean no. like if it, if they did that in the game i think it would just be downright depressing and like I mean they kind of did do that did no, you ever play like, Spec Ops I mean Spec Ops was more of a I did but I never finished it and right. it was great what I played of it like right. fantastic you're the one person that likes that game though like likes the gameplay in that game you said you really enjoyed the gameplay but you were kind of you didn't really know where the story was going right did I catch that right when you were talking no, about that's it because I didn't finish it but right. I, I kind of saw where the story was going and I really like the story aspects but yeah I didn't mind I like third person shooters that they're done well and that one wasn't done bad in my opinion uh, I tried to play in PvP and that was kind of bad but just going through the campaign and playing it third person I had a blast I found it really fun I just wish I could have finished it which I should I have it on PS3 you really should it's a very good game if you if you still also haven't had it spoiled for you somehow then you should finish the game I haven't Okay, then then do it because it's really fucking good. But um, I mean, not every game needs to be Spec Ops. Did anybody else play Spec Ops? No. no. Yeah, it was free on PlayStation all. Three for a while. Uh, so what do you guys think of the rest of this, Richard? G. I with the Wolfenstein thing and people are getting fucking crazy like. Mad right, about that's it. insane. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's just because white people don't think think their shit don't stink. Well, you would know. But yeah, exactly. The, 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 the that's all it is. No, no, I was saying that. Yeah, I was, I was acknowledging that. I wasn't saying that you were wrong. Yeah, that's, um, all, that's all it is. It, it really shouldn't be a bigger deal than. Oh no, absolutely not. But of course, it's gonna be. Um, I mean, like I said, this was like a Twitter conversation ultimately, but it just brought up a bunch of things that I figured were worth, would be worth talking about. Um, let me see. Uh, let me double check the time on I'll that. I'll be honest. Actually. They're running a better political campaign than Look at, uh, anyone else. Ghost, I know we haven't played it yet, but Ghost Recon PvP. Oh, I fucking updated it's Ghost Recon update. just for that, and I, w I wanted to see what it's like. There's probably another update today. Um, so apparently the PvP is really cool. From people that I respect and very much like to listen to, uh, they said that it was their exact words were, "It's kind of fire." <laughs> So take that as Damn. you will. They said it was kind of like... Um, who was that? Because that sounds... Uh, that was the Gaming Illuminati. They're, uh, I've showed a couple of videos. Comprised of this guy, his name is the Black Hokage. And then another guy named Ethos. Uh, and then there's... I don't remember everybody else because it's actually like a pretty big network. Of young, like, black YouTube gamers, basically. I don't know if that's like the requirement but it seems like that's the commonality. Uh, but they're all really, really smart. They like what they do. Uh, they're very passionate about games, and they have some pretty interesting things to say. So one guy was like, it feels like... Ethos said that it feels like uh, old SOCOM and a little bit of PUBG. Huh. Yeah, I figured that would interest you, Gia. Mm. This update came out recently. I guess. Uh, yesterday, the PvP release, or no, the PvP released today. So the update is probably today. Uh, but yeah, I mean, beyond that, the fuck? I, 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 I haven't played it, so I wish I could to yeah, check I'm it out. Whenever you are, cause I but he says, he says that it's like garbage solo, so we do have to get on together. We should try it tonight. I will update, uh, whatchamacallit. So I yeah, we got... More, so I am down. We got 18 more minutes for this section of the podcast, or for the podcast, actually. Um, what else did I want to say about Wolfenstein, Battlefront? Okay, we can skip this. So, Cuphead. 
came out in the between times since the last yeah. podcast, and um, it's been getting kind of like everybody very much likes Pretty it. Fucking Every, cool. Everybody plays it, says that it's it's, it's incredible, good in a lot of ways, and uh, hard, and very challenging. And then there's also been the secondary though. conversation about whether or not <laughs> game reviewers should be good at games in order for them to fucking review games. That's I don't know. Uh, because of Cuphead, I don't know if that's if that was the cause of that, but it definitely got continued because of that. What do you think about that question on its own, Richard, Keaton, Gia? Oh, reviewers actually having to be good. Yeah, what constitutes good? Extent, my question. To an extent, yeah, but not like you know, I'm not looking for fucking speed runs, you know, 100 percent, no damage. Just if you know how to play the game, Damn you can it. do it. That's fine. I mean, yeah. They play games. They play every game. Like they play a lot of games, so their bodies either attuned just for like, their bodies. Their bodies. They're like plugged into the matrix, and my body is ready. No, their uh, bodies just like you know, their mind and everything is just kind of plugged into. Try to well, right. If you if quick, you recognize a genre game. or a theme, you're gonna be like, oh, it's like this thing. And in video games, that's typically not wrong. Dishonored and and Prey are very much like or Dishonored Prey and Deus Ex are very much like the old Deus Ex and System Shock games. It's just the way it is. Um, that wasn't exactly what I was going for, but all right, you can take it another direction. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think your body just... <laughs> whatever, anyway, I'm not going to make no, fun of you. What I'm saying is, is like, they're, like, as reviewers, they're, like, they're designed... Not designed, but they've been... They're like, designed like Terminators. When they pick up a game that, like, they're not going to be amazing at it, but they have to learn it quick, and they have to be at least decent at it. Well, I mean, what I was going to say was that, like, games aren't that hard. Properly, right, but if the game doesn't teach you properly also, it's just kind of like there. There's been plenty well, of times where the game doesn't tell you what to do, or it's been blatantly boring because it has to tell you. Sure. You know, so, Keaton, yes. Ke Gia, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Gia, you were trying to say something it sounded yeah, like? Go ahead, Gia. Wait, what? No. Were you, oh, I thought, you, were, I thought you spoke up. Okay. I say, this isn't really in reference to, I mean, it is to the game, but like, I hate how people, you know, post something saying, oh, this game is so difficult, and then there's some asshole out there who's like, no, it's not, watch this, and according to the, uh, Cuphead, some dude posted a video of him beating, like, the first world bosses playing with a DDR pad. Yeah, well, every, somebody's always going to do that as soon as you say it's too difficult, or difficult at all. Like, that's people are going to do that before pad. you even... Like, people do that shit with Dark Souls, like, there's somebody, uh played one online and like he uses this uh, voice app and there's literally a two second delay between when he says something and it happens in the game and he has like words for different things in the game and shit and like he beat the game doing that shit like a two second delay in everything he says and it happening like you know block parry like two second delay that's especially in a dark Souls game that's ridiculous it was dark souls 3 which is probably easier because that's way more fast paced than the other ones but. But, okay, I, I was talking about this with somebody else the other day. Um, like, if you play a game the wrong way, it's going to be difficult. Like, there are wrong and yeah. right ways to play games, generally speaking. And so, like, if there's you're playing Dark curve. Souls... Yeah, and there's a learning curve, always, right? And so, like, you, you will... And this is the mistake that I feel a lot of gamers make. They will approach a game the wrong way and then not trying to not not accept that there's a learning curve to the game just thinking well I should just do it this way cuz I want to do it this way and then they'll yeah. be upset that the game didn't play the way they wanted to it was like yeah you didn't play the game the developer the way the developer made you or was meant for you to play it and i do think that there should no developer should tell you to play a certain way but like if i point my gun at the ground destiny and try to get all my kills by fucking bouncing the bullets upward off the floor i'm going to have a fucking bad time <laughs> And and so it's just like I mean, yeah. Unless you got a grenade launcher. Unless I have a grenade launcher, right? But yeah, there are wrong and ways, right ways to play, at least in that context. So when we get into the conversation of whether or not a developer, like yeah, I just came up with it just now because I was playing <laughs> Destiny. Uh, when you get into the conversation of whether or not a developer needs to be good in order to play the game, the question is like, good at what? Can he get better? Like, fuck. What is even? What does good even mean? I, I would consider that I'm pretty good at video games. Doesn't mean I always do good, even in single player games. Sometimes I just, I'm having a fucked up day. Yeah. Oh, like just now, I just missed a bunch of shots from my grenade launcher. Uh, Chia. Pretty, what do you think about reviewers needing to be good before they, uh... I feel like they should at least have 
background familiarity with you know, game mechanics, gameplay in general. What the fuck? It doesn't have to be with every type of game, you know, but at least for the one they're gonna review. Yeah, no, I think I, I honestly think that reviewers and this sounds like it would probably make a job the job a lot worse, to be honest. But I think reviewers should stick in certain areas. I'm sure this probably is like oh, formatted sure. this way in certain in certain like at publications, whether it's you know IGN yeah, or who, whoever, like a magazine. Um, I'm sure there are rev there are RPG reviewers and then there are action game reviewers and things like that. And I think that's a good way to look at it because you don't look at like the Terminator up against fucking Magnolia or fucking Capote or something. You look at the Terminator against other action movies, and that's where it makes the most sense. And if you get a, a, a reviewer that has the same kind of eye for things, then you might actually get a good idea of like a game if they're reviewing honestly. I, don't, I mean, and like I said, it's probably done like that in a lot of places, but th the secondary problem then becomes fucking, w what game doesn't want to be like a multi-genre game now? Like, every game's a little bit of an RPG these days. Just because that's what sells. It's really sad because People I haven't like played a great RPG in, in a while. Game. Yeah, that's what I mean, is that like, they use the name, but it's not that necessarily what it is. It just has RPG elements or where they say shit like yeah, that, right. like RPG elements. And he's just like, what, what the fuck does that even mean? I can level, you, like, level up. up I can, I can, your stats. I can put clothes on. Playing. Like, role what is it? It's literally you playing a character being able right. to choose, like, oh, I guess nowadays, choose dialogue, you know, Class. good, bad, Class. whatever. Uh, oh, cool. And now RPG doesn't even mean role playing. It's, there's so many different meanings for the word RPG. Right, exactly. It's just like, fuck, come on, we're all fucked up. So yeah, even if you had reviewers that were doing it like that, then you'd be like, yeah, it's an action RPG adventure horror stealth game. And you're like, fuck, who's going to review this? <laughs> oh, wow, that was a totally bad shot. Cool. Um, so uh, the other thing I wanted to say was, when I was thinking about Cuphead, um, we... I was like, this looks a lot like Contra, just in a different skin. You know, like people are telling me it's hard. Yeah, for sure. People well, look, makes thing. it looks it's like it's hard, but it looks like Contra. It, that some levels do, like other ones look different too. Like it's it's like a a platformer of platformers. You know, there's like so many different platforming aspects in this one game. Like you know, the side scrolling, like fucking shooters, and then like also aircraft shooters and then fucking like just Mario like platforming or Sonic like it looks like it's a mixture of all kinds of different platformers I mean but just in the like 2D shooting with a gun mm -hmm. boss rush kind of thing seems very much like I'm down with Contra boss rush games too. and I like, I like it. what'd you say Richard it's very much like Contra okay yeah, yeah that, that was the point I was making I wasn't done I wasn't done Jesus Richard chill out so, what I was trying to make was when I was a kid, we played Contra. Not a lot, like on the Game Boy and shit. It was kind of already out of, like, popularity by yeah, then. Yeah, on the Game Boy? Yeah. Um, but, like, oh. <laughs> it was cool. I mean, Contra's hard to fuck up. I mean, but, uh, one, two, and three were great. We, we would play the game, and it was difficult, but some kids could do it really well because they spent a lot of time with it. Other kids were just having fun, like video games are sometimes, right? Uh... Why do I hear this conversation about it being so hard? It's a game. You beat the game. Play the game until you figure out how to beat it. I, that's not a bad thing. How many parents are going to buy their kids Cuphead and only Cuphead this Christmas for 20 bucks or 30 bucks or whatever it costs, and they're not going to have to buy Call of Duty oh. because they can't beat that game? I don't care what your friends want. You No, no Call of Duty until you finish your Cuphead. No one. Shut the fuck up, Richard. You don't know what you're talking about. I think plenty of uh, the question that that came up because I was like, how many kids or how many adults are going to buy their kids Cuphead thinking that it's just a friendly kid game and their kids are going to be frustrated as shit? No one, because they're not going to know about it. What do you mean they're not going to know about it? They're not going to know about it. We know about it and we hear all this shit because yeah. we're in the gaming system. Okay, but like you can be on, it's look, 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 I'm, I'm, life. I'm a, okay, look, I'm, I'm a dad. I've got a kid. I'm a shitty dad, and I've got a, a shitty little kid to go with me, right? And I got a shitty wife, and and maybe maybe a shitty baby on the way. So I got all that shitty shit, right? I look at my Xbox. What do I play? Call of Duty. Not the shitty dads play Call of Duty, but like Call of Duty, Destiny, yeah, whatever, right? <laughs> okay, fine. I got Call of Duty. It's not only not if you play Call of Duty, you're not a shitty dad. But shitty dads play Call of Duty. 
yeah. almost exclusively. And also Destiny. Also Destiny, maybe like a FIFA game like, or like remember or or, or, or Madden. Was it Dads of Destiny? Madden there you go. The whole year, article uh, about them. The year, you know, prior. Madden, but like the year prior. Game. Right, right. That's what I am because I don't really follow gaming in the same way that these the us the guy the guys talking in this lame ass podcast. Uh, people who play games. People who play games. Right. So uh, I have a shitty kid and I don't want him bothering me. Cuphead seems like a kid game, but I don't want to scar him for life, so I'm not gonna let him play games that he shouldn't play. I'm I'm a, I'm working on being less of a shitty dad. Uh, I'm gonna buy him Cuphead. That's what I mean. Like I'm gonna see it on the store one day. Like honestly, that game would probably scare me as a kid. Really? <laughs> some of those bosses. Some of those bosses look pretty weird. Yeah. <laughs> kind of creepy. I just got a fucking purple transmat like effect almost, on Destiny. Uh, malevolent, wow, like evil looking, <laughs> like. Like, honestly, the first nightmare I ever had as a kid was something like that. Except it was a werewolf, like, from Jesus. the well, okay, I'm going well, on about stupid shit. But, well, yeah. werewolves are, are <laughs> scary. Me you... kid. But it was like, it looked like a cartoon character from that game. Like, it had big, yellow, fucking evil-looking eyes and shit. And like, yeah, that would scare me as a kid, that game, probably. Um, can we, hold on, let me check the time. We have seven minutes. We're going to talk about being scared as, as, as for, over video games. I can't speak. But you were saying, like, a dad looks up and he finds Cuphead, right? It's, like, on the fucking Xbox store or whatever. Right, right. But he finds and it, Cuphead. And it says and fucking co-op. He's like, you know, instead of what my kid wants. <laughs> all right, all right. You might have run into the, the critical flaw here. But still, I don't know. I think there's some merit to what I'm saying. <laughs> Right, but like, say the dad just does it because he's like, oh, I think my kid will like this. And like, yeah, the kid doesn't like it because it's too hard, he can't figure it out. Dad'll pick it up. He's like, well, fuck, I paid for it. Dad might like it. Dude, but no, the point I was going to make was that, like, honestly, I thought about that. Like, the kid's going to be pissed off. It's really hard. But no, we played Contra. We played games that were hard. Shit was just harder back in the day. Sure. Sure. Right? Like, like, I think kids are actually going to really like it. And part of me actually Dante's thinks it's... nephew got pissed off at I don't think they'll like it it, it you don't think they'll like it all right so that's two people that says that one person says it's scary one one person says that it's it's not good and and Richard you just think kids don't have the the wherewithal these days you don't think they they got the constitution no but also if they see that art style they're gonna immediately assume no it's not a good game it's old right it doesn't look like Call of Duty I don't know dude I think you're giving you're giving kids like a bad rap I mean kids are shitty but like they're also generally people are shitty I'm kids are shitty because people are shitty I think generally they're also open to different art styles and things if they're if they're smart kids enough kids like for cartoons no matter yeah what kids like cartoons like, that's, that's a good way to look at it yeah but the thing is they're not gonna like Cuphead but because of how difficult it is and that there are so many different alternatives out there that they could play that's a good point that's a good point. I mean, I mean, I can't ignore I, that. I got frustrated with games as a kid, like really bad, like really bad. As a kid, I get frustrated with games now. What the fuck? Yeah, but like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> as a kid, I was like yeah, almost cry. I was so mad, like, oh my god. Especially with Street Fighter fucking Alpha Three, and then freaking what else? What game pissed me off? A bunch of wrestling games. <laughs> Yeah, I actually didn't really start to rage until I played Destiny, and then I gotta just calm that shit down because it's terrible. What? <clears throat> oh yeah, no, never mind. No, you're right. I did rage, but never as bad as Destiny. It got out of hand. <laughs> yeah, G and I have been playing video games since we were very, very young. Yeah. Um. Wait, hey, a one suit? What'd you say? Halo two. Halo 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because Halo 3 uh, came out and then you were into Halo 3 suddenly, or at that point. Ah, uh, the good old days. Those Halo. were the good old days. So we got four more minutes, give or take two, like six more minutes of conversation on this podcast before we're off. That covers all my topics today, and I'm glad. I actually thought that I didn't have enough, but we actually went on for a while with Star Wars and everything. So thanks for that, Keaton. Uh, I thought it went fun. This was fun. This is always a lot of fun. And now we got another hour of like just game playing. So yeah, what's the nightfall? That's what we're gonna hit up next. No idea. I'm gonna make a snack before we jump in it, and then once we beat it, I'm gonna get off. That is totally fair.
Gia, Keaton, Richard, any final conversation points or any things you want to say? Anything that I might have like steamrolled you on? I was talking loud and fast today. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't have to love break you. over everything I said already. Thank you. You're sexy and I love you, and people should throw money at you. Yeah, right. I want to remind everybody that we're doing this by the power of PlayStation and Sony. I'm capturing all of this. Actually, that's not even fucking true anymore because I had such a hard time getting the fucking videos off the PlayStation and into a computer just because, or like, just being able to edit it, period. It was just, that's just problem. shitty, shitty You were day. trying to put it onto something that wasn't a PlayStation. Right. No, you yeah, I guess that. when you look at it that way, I'm, st I'm just stupid is the problem. Uh, but yeah, no, yeah. we love you, Sony. Sony, give me money. Uh, oh man! Wow, that was that came out from the depths. Jesus. Uh, Gia, anything you got to say? We got four minutes. Uh, nothing really. No, not today. Topics. Cool. Oh. Except for golf story. I keep hearing about golf story like from the like corner of the room all the time. Somebody mentions it in like a video, and I'm like, what the fuck is golf story? It's a uh, uh, RPG, old, like stylized the like old school Super Nintendo Nintendo. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You just you're you're a dude that's an ex golfer, I think, and you're just trying to rebuild your career. Wow. <laughs> I guess. All right. I, go with, I can go back on a focal point real quick. Yeah, go ahead. You got like a minute. I was going to say, like, going back to getting frustrated as games as a kid and people, the kids not enjoying Cuphead, like, most of the games that are memorable to me as a kid, I never finished. They were hard as fuck. Um, Battletoads. Battletoads was hard. <laughs> Battletoads was one for a lot of people. To. Yeah, like, it was a great game. Fun as hell. Hard as hell. You never, never finished, finished it. You got somewhere in it, right? There was a game called Blasto on the PlayStation 1 that was also very hard, but it was, it was clunky as fuck. I don't know if it was hard or not. I just remember it being clunky as shit, uh, like everything was in the PlayStation 1 days. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't finish. This is the one game that I remember all the time that I never finished. But you, you never finished it, but you got through it, right? Parts of it, yeah. Yeah, like, so you ever looked through. I, get, I I think what I was, what we were maybe saying is that, like, the first part of it at all oh yeah tutorial. yeah no i mean i got Maybe. past the tutorial yeah i got stuck in a different place and then like the first boss or like they're going to be thrown to the world they're like oh what do we do and then they actually can find a boss they're just they're going to get rolled by it a lot yeah right and they're not going to figure it out well that's the nature of the world kids something's going to sometimes things are going to kick your ass and with 20 seconds that's been the wholesome hoodlum Let's play podcast. There we go. I got it. I got it. <laughs> um, my name's been Raul. I've been joined here with Richard. <laughs> Has it been Raul? <laughs> Shut up. My name is Chiboy. My name is uh, Chiboy Raul. Raul. Uh, I have been here with Richard Keaton. Yeah. And uh, fucking Gia. Man, I'm, it's really kicking me out my ass. To stay, I started out so strong. seconds is gone, dude. Well, yeah, no, but I got, I got like a buffer of like two safety minutes. Fuck off. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you all for listening. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Check in for the next half of the podcast coming up right after this. Uh, it's the Let's Play. And uh, yeah, if you want to get at me, get at me at Twitter on at Hood Wholesome. Yeah. I got to put that at the beginning of the video. Who the fuck watched this far? All right, I'm going to capture the video now. <laughs>
or in the last half of the last one just now. So I figured, fuck it, we're, we're all mm. together. We might as well just all just do a whole podcast or do Let's Play. Um, so yeah, you didn't miss much. Anybody yeah. who's wondering, <laughs> but here we go. Here we go. We're doing some fucking Iron Banner. It's so far going kind of okay. Yeah, fucking Iron Banner. <laughs> Dude, Iron Banner was the worst yeah. part of... One of the worst parts about Destiny 1 for me. I hated doing Iron Banner, well, but I always found events. myself there. Dude, like the <coughs> Queen's event was pointless. Yeah, the events were kind of shitty, but... Plus the everything for the Queen's, like all the... It just it was ugly. Well, I mean, yeah, it was like, just was reskins at the time. It was obsolete. All the gear, too. It, just, I, I, it was just pointless. Pointless. I'm hoping they're having go? some good ones in this one. Uh, I was hoping to see something new rather than Trials and Iron Banner like a month into the game's release. Damn, uh, they're closing in on B from the middle, it looks like. That's um, I just spawned today. <laughs> this guy in particular. Ah! You're so alone, I... you're alone, you're alone. Be careful. I don't want to die! Shit. This game is so hard, you. Ah, oh, goddamn it! I have enemies and a single life. Who do they think I am? It's actually pretty easy. Okay, we still have zone advantage, and they're trapped at B. Cool. So, where is he? He's over here. In the back. Oh, he ran. He's going. He's going to C. Oh, he's, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, they're at A. So we should check out B. Oh, fuck you. Alright. Nice. Good job getting into place. Uh, he slaughtered me. Works for me. Forward path? Question mark? <laughs> These are some of the raid. Uh, raid. Some of the thing weapons. Go back to C, guys. Zone advantage is yours. I'll do disruption at A. Look at that. Strategic, even words. No, two on one. Excellent oh, strategy. Right my knife. Did you hey, see as that? long as you wasted some time for them, it's fine. Moment Iron Lords live for. Oh, it's a grenade. Oh, it's a fucking grenade. Oh. They've got heavy. They've got rockets. Yep. And he missed. Rockets are down. I got you. Oh, uh, this screen shit's pissing me off right now. Nice. Thank you. My fingers are so sweaty. I keep fucking. Uh, Good shot. Zone advantage is yours. Is that who's announcing? Is that Saladin? It's Saladin, yeah. He sounds hot. What the fuck? What is it's, that? Uh, it's the guy who plays Reaper. Oh. Ooh, right. He came in hard at me. Forward path. They're taking seat. And they're headed to B. Oh my god, dude. Why are we so far behind? Oh, you know. Control. Okay. Oh, good job, guys. We're gonna be... Oh, they took oh, that was a bit. Scared me. I'm gonna take A. I'm gonna do... Because I think they know we're coming here. Well, if that's the case, they're probably going to move to take C, but we can always just pivot and take B from there. Pendulum could swing either way. You captured zone A. Zone advantage is yours. Oh, what? Why not? They're coming to C. Like three of them. It's okay. We're going to go to B. We're just going to keep this going in this direction for a while. Well, as long as it works. Wait, we're losing. Around the road, big bitch. If we can stop him at C. Zone C anyway. lost. <laughs> oh god, they're all coming to B from C. So just go and take C, you guys. Oh. There goes my heavy. What did you have? He, you can't be mad at somebody for shooting you. <laughs> I <laughs> beg to differ. Zone B lost. Be mad at anybody for whatever fucking reason I want to. Oh my god. Seems like rocket. bullshit. Yeah. Alright, only one on the point. 
Oh wow. Zone C captured. Go to B. Oh shit. Homo. Nice. Good little attack. That's two. Three down. Did you get him? Yeah. I got three, yeah. Take B. Going. Where at B? One is it? I see. I mean, one is that A. And one is it? Oh, Randy, oh, go away! Oh man, I saw you die. It was rough. Oh damn it! There's two at A. One of them has a uh, grenade launcher. Uh, Just make a goddamn decision. Bye. Oh fuck your void bow. I don't like that void bow either. It's kind of lameness. Oh, that was a grenade. Fuck that shit. Unless it was a void bow. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. shit, he's here. I'm trying to die. shoot his fucking jumping ass. What is with my rate? What the fuck is with my radar just now? Oh, he probably had a smoke grenade. He did, the bitch. <sighs> I hate that fucking smoke grenade. Alright, I'm about to gunsling him. You do whatever you need to do to be successful. I don't fucking die. Really? He gave all of us that much trouble, you guys? I'm ashamed of myself. No, he's not. He's a fucking hunter. Shut up with these really good shit. They're going to see. There's two. At C. Sorry, Gia. I was trying to cover you. Oh, fucking K. Uh... Oh, right. oh, my God! Zone C lost. Opponent made a power play. Damn, it does sound like That is weird. Uh. This isn't over until shots. Okay, dude. <laughs> One more. Oh, I went the oh, other way. Dead. Want the other cat? Okay, I'll cap. Cap A, David. Sorry, we didn't grab that. What the fuck? I'm I'm at B. Well, okay. <laughs> See, this is why I hate the sword. It makes Dude. one person not do shit. That was a bad spawn, Bonda, Keaton. Bonda, that, that was a bad Bonda. spawn. Dang, that Dude, pussy. oh my god. Busted. You got juked hard, didn't you, Keaton? Or didn't you, David? No, I just... He threw the post oh, grenade fuck. straight out of his uh, feet. They're hunting me down. Get him. Well, we lost, dude. It's over. Keaton, you gotta stop engaging on your own. That's not how Destiny works. You know that. That's my ultimate. I'm not engaging. I'm spawning and fucking dying. Well, that's the fifth time. That's in a row. best. Look, 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 look. You're okay now. You're okay. Where are you? <laughs> I'm with you. Be safe, my friend. I'm dead. Go, take this opportunity to kill them. Damn, I got hella stuff. Hey, 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 guys. Keaton, yeah. don't get mad. Don't get mad. It's okay. I don't have weed. I'm not going to be able to not get mad. That is very, very bad. You know what that sounds like? If I was a therapist, David, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I would say that it sounds like you're telling yourself that you can't do it. Why don't you try telling yourself that you can do it? I'm not a therapist. Keaton, you should get a cat. Another one. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why don't you try telling yourself that you can be calm without weed? That you can do it. That you're greater than that. Huh? I can, but not when I'm playing fucking competitive games. No, you can. You can, and no other thing. Not no buts. You can do it. If I play well, yes, I can. Do you want to play well? Yeah. Look, man, I just think I that you could do it without weed. 
Replace <laughs> weed with coffee. Don't replace weed with anything. God damn, dude. You're the worst. <coughs> I'm not a therapist. Yeah, well, come on. You're training to, like, do... You're doing psychology. Fuck off. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Keaton. Come on, man. You can do it. Okay. <clears throat> you just gotta believe in the power of positive thought, man. I thought you were gonna say Christ. Nice job. Good save. There's a new there's a new map, David. Oh really? Excitement. What is it? It's called it at, It's called the Distant Shores. Ooh, where is it? A reef? You'll see. <laughs> Alright, are we going there? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Actually, I, there's I no really real way do. to tell. <clears throat> nope. Oh, no. We're in it's a remake of the time, the Shores of Time. Ooh. Okay. All right. Cool. I don't know if I remember that. You'll remember it once you get in it. Yeah, for sure. I just don't remember it by name. <sighs> oh fuck. No. Nope, go to A. Fuck no, this. Turn not. around. Everybody turn around right now. Go to A. They're no, already here. Okay. See? Boom. Counted it. Called it, didn't I? I'm on B. Take it. We will do battle with them. Zone Fuck! Zone advantage Going to A. They're taking C. No, they're not. You? Nice job. Is there only one? It was only he one. was one and one shot, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, go harass him, Keaton. Oh, fuck. It's the team oh. flat. I don't see any good. There he is. Took two of you motherfuckers to take me down, and you still haven't capped C, bitch. There's two at C, two meters it seems like, so I would just be careful over there. No, they're popping shield, I'm gonna go for A. It's a good idea. Zone C. I'm gonna go fuck with them so they stay stuck over there for a little while. Oh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> we both die. Oh, you got one, good job. Yeah. As a general rule, if they can see you, I wouldn't pop your super, <laughs> your, your specials, dude. I didn't see them. I didn't if they see can, them. if it only takes like one motion for them to be able to see you, yeah, it still counts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just didn't see. I didn't see. They're going to A. We spawned at A. I didn't. Oh, there's two. I'm not doing this. I mean, technically, we don't have to cast a lot. We just have to get kills and not die. Zone a lost. That is the technical answer, yes. I mean, but we do I'm need to serious. not die, and that's very hard. Okay, just, just buddy up with whoever unless you see an opportunity to not get shot at while you do something. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? Oh, shotgun. He has a sh legend of Acrius. Right, I died yeah. when I leveled up, so now the shit's stuck on my fucking screen. Yeah, that happens way too often. I just spawned into that. That was fucked. Didn't even see him because the pole and the flag, but whatever. It's okay, just move to A. It's not worth fighting over. It's not worth a fight. Just go ahead and capture A and just they can go fuck themselves. Swing either way. Zone C I got you. Lost. Thank you. Somebody's coming. Stay on the point for me. Zone A captured. Zone right. advantage is yours. Looks like they're in the middle and coming to Looks B. that way. Oh! Dude, the. And the cave on the left. He's got a sniper. Never mind, he's actually. You got one on the left in the cave, too. Okay. 
Nice kill. Sorry you died. That's okay. There it is. Damn it, they're gonna be. There's two of them, and there's heavy abuse. They got it. We got a few here, I guess. I spawned at C, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Yeah, that was too short. This guy's on me, he's hurt. Dude! Keaton, why don't you tell somebody what you want to do and we'll follow you or something, man? <laughs> Stop getting so mad. I'm trying to help you. Come on. I'm on you, buddy. That was the first time I said something this whole match. You were kind of, so you were getting kind of fumied. I got you covered. I got you covered. Yeah. I got you covered. I got you covered. You better do something because I'm trapped trying to fuck with this guy. All right. He's already over here. Got him. What? How did he? Fucking, wow. Good for him. Dude, are you fucking serious? Okay. Wow, they just stole my fucking super from me. That's bullshit. He fusion rifled me and then he meleeed me and my sword just missed him. Just missed him entirely. I'm with you. They're everywhere. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, fuck your fusion rifle. Another one outside. Fucking cock ass. Oh. God. Balls. He was almost dead. Oh, I hate hunters so bad. Well, play better. <laughs> Nobody to blame but ourselves at this point. Nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Is there another one somewhere? Above us? Question. Got him. Got him. Just capture. Thank you. Here, I'll, I'll move forward. Oh, they're behind us. Or in the cave. I'm dead. Hatred! Keaton, do it. Do it, Keaton. Do it. I spawned it A and there's and is it uh, another one? That's such bullshit. Oh, okay. fuck you, cocksucker. Damn fucking corpse. I hate you. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> you sound like a fucking mouse. <laughs> uh, Reciting his be, favorite. His favorite part of the prequel trilogy. Zone a lost. A bitch? Thanks, David. You the man. I'm capturing this point. Oh, you're okay. you and don't I take don't don't don't, don't take A. Why don't you go grab C? Just take just make sure C's secure. Zone B. Zone you have to get all the yours. You're stupid. Is not secure. I'm just kidding. Oh, dude, and how close would I be with that fucking gun to do goddamn anything? Thirty seconds. Three round per shot right on your ass, but I have to be like right on you. For the last hope? Pretty much, yeah. 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 Ten seconds. You know what? I'm gonna go to A. Oh, fucking Mita. I hate that fucking gun so bad. Tired of losing. The collapse could yeah, fuck, I'm not happy about it either. <laughs> stop you. When I mean, at this point, it's just our fault, though, you guys. <laughs> you can't even blame it on anyone. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Kill more, die less, capture two points, and then we're golden. <laughs> and then keep them. Control fucking sucks. Dude, control sucks so bad. <laughs>
I hate it so much. I feel like Iron Banner would be better as a supremacy game mode, but people would still not like it. Indeed. But you know what I've seen, with the exception of that match, even in that match, I don't feel like that many people are using the Mita multi-tool anymore. It's like just kind of policed itself out. People got bored of it. There are still some assholes who are using it, but, you know, it's not everybody, and that's the good part. Keaton, you look very handsome. You're tight. In real life. And oh, in real life. Okay. You're a hunter. Not your tight. All right, what do we got? We got we got 36 more minutes. <coughs> David, you're also using the Mita. Well, see, yeah, yeah. It, it's like it's it it might be one of those things where it's like they see you using it and then they pick it mm -hmm. because they think they've got you've got they don't have an upper hand right. despite whatever weapon they have. Who the fuck cares? It doesn't matter anymore. I don't know, dude. I'm having a lot of fun with my. Call to Surf and the Hard Light. Hard Light is so beast. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to make it shoot fire today. And it's a chrome hard light because I got the the ornament for it. Chrome hard light. All right, we found eight more. It's a team of two and then two randoms. So we should be okay. One of them is a hunter. The other one is a warlock. Oh my god. That, that guy's using me to multi-tool in Uriel's gift. Uh, and then there's... Oh no. Then there's Pigeon Killer. He's got me to multi-tool in Uriel's gift. And then there's me to multi-tool in Uriel's gift on the other guy. So there's two titans, one warlock, and a hunter. What, what subclasses are you guys? Voidwalker! Voidwalker, but I'm about to switch to Ark. Alright, cool. Cause that, that rounds us all out for different grenades and abilities. <clears throat> what is the uh, thing for this one? I get dodge, air dodge. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use air dodge. Fuck it. Why not? Air dodge is really cool. You talking about Dawnbreaker? Yeah. Yeah, it, I liked it more than the Hunter Dodge, obviously, because I'm in the air like all the damn time. But hey, hell yeah, it's good. Please stop laughing like that. It sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like you're trying to do a thing that doesn't need to be a thing. <laughs> all right. Okay. Stop. Sorry. Okay. We should go. Let's go to. Whoa. Wow. Goals. Doesn't mean you still can't go to sea from the inside. No, you will die. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna hit him. Opponent claimed zone lead. He? he left. I saw him leave. I'm gonna rush. Go ahead. I got this. <coughs> He's just going to be. You captured zone C. Zone remember, C. remember, guys, die less. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I forgot our strategy. What is with this crouching shit? Why does everybody do it? Ah! One guy has one shot. Yes, G.I. Yeah, yes! What are you I'm using? running away from that, though. Uh, Nameless Midnight? And... The number? Okay, this is some garbage. Okay, fuck your grenade, asshole. Oh, right, I can't oh, do that anymore. Shit. Can't heal myself. This way. Don't, don't go that way. Damn. Oh, there's so many of them. <clears throat> Going for the L. Oh. oh, cool. I'll go for the heavy of C. See if I can make it in. I can. Zone A captured. Zone Good. advantage is yours. Tesla! Holy shit! 
Turn around or sh you better shoot somebody with that second shot, you motherfucker. I didn't have a second shot, it was only one shot. Ooh, shit. Cap B, we're still ahead. Or, yeah. Zone C lost. You just spawned in, that's too bad for you. Zone B captured. Sorry, zone advantage is yours. That sucks. Still got zone advantage, nice. Stay on A and B. They're going to A. Here we go. Here we go. I got your back. Nice. Ooh, no. They're on A. Three of them on A. Oh, and in the B. Little good fucking grenade. Five minutes. The pendulum could swing either way. Oh, there's two on A still. Uh, Heavy's about to spawn. They're gonna grab it over there on the launch pad. We still have advantage. Good job, you guys. You're the best. I love you guys. See what I mean about positive thinking? Everybody thinking positively? Oh, this is the spawn for a while. Okay, all right. Less positively and more aggressively, I guess. Be heavy spawn. Here, just spawn. I want to grab it. Grab it, David. I picked up a sword. God, fucking You know how much time we just wasted? You look pleased. Which is makes more than enough. Oh, he's got a sword. <laughs> Got him. Nice shot. <clears throat> Got but they just made those points uh, while well, zone advantage was on, so. Ow, fuck! They're somehow at sea. I didn't see them at all. I guess my radar is just being fucking neato. Uh, you guys at sea. Dude, I swear to God. Thank you. Oh, we got another one. I'll cover. He got me. Just, just get back into the cap and then just get back into the cap and heal if you can. Run. Oh, couldn't even blink out in time. Zone C captured. Zone advantage. I captured it. I'm moving though. I'm gonna go around. Okay, they just smoke bombed me and just the havoc me. That was great. I love that smoke bomb. It should totally prevent me from pressing oh, buttons God. and doing abilities. Wow, we really fucking blew it now, guys. Yeah. <laughs> They've got wow. super right here. You know. Bitch. Oh, they got I lost. Two super what? Three minutes. They're matching your moves. I'm actually gonna go to heavy. <clears throat> Yeah, good idea. Captured B, too. I'm gonna go around to A. <sighs> Keaton, if you let us know what you're doing, we can help. Are you in some kind of trouble? Why are you not communicating? <laughs> I got two of B, at least. Zone A captured. Zone captured A. I'm heading to B. David, you went right fucking over somebody. Could you turn around and shoot this guy, please? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. You died? You died? I'm sorry. We win? No, it's not over yet. We got two more minutes, and they've got it right on our ass. Get out of here. Well... Well, well, what? What do you, what? I used my golden well, gun. You, you, David killed that dude. Did I really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you say Did you I were gonna use your golden it? gun though? No, it says it in the bottom ah. corner. <laughs> oh shit, he's got us. He does kind of have us there, but you shouldn't have... I mean, I'm not gonna assume that you don't need help though. Like, I love you and I want you to be happy. Why is he healed already? Oh. Ah. <laughs> I just, I just, I just totally juked him. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You grab heavy. I'll go out to sea and distract him with my corpses. Or kill him with my fucking hard light from fucking... <laughs> 
<laughs> Keaton, are you okay, dude? Die! Die I got to... Oh, oh I dodged into it. Uh. Alright, Keaton, I'm on you. Just don't rush. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. How did I he got get him? Die? How? I got him, Keaton. How? It's okay. Bittersweet. <laughs> I got him. There it be. I ran. Oh my God, do I have to put control settings at fucking two, dude? Is that what it's gonna take? Do I just, am I going too fast? Ten seconds. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I just stole that kill from the team. Sorry. There we go, five fucking coins. Brez. Yeah. See, I think the thing about the hard light is that it scares people because, like, the bullets start bouncing everywhere, and you're just like, Where, "Where's all this coming from?" So good. Hard Look at that! So you did better, Keaton. You did better. See, positive thought. Now we're gonna try another tactic. It's called communication. Okay, so when you want to go somewhere, you let us know, and we'll, as a team, very quickly judge if it's a good idea. And if it's a good idea, <laughs> we got you. If, if, and if it's not a good idea, know. we'll just we'll just we'll just say our other plan. How's that sound, Keaton? We just won two. Yeah. Woo. Good job, man. Yeah. Good job, Gia. Good job, David. Uh, oh, Bill. I was having. You like cut yourself or something? You okay there, Keaton? <laughs> it's okay, guys. I want to dance. Now you want to dance? Well, if you communicate well enough, we'll win by such a long stretch. You will be able to dance at the end. How's that sound? That sounds good, Bob. What the fuck? <sighs> what do we have for him, Johnny? Mm. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh man, you guys I have been doing this for how many hours? What'd uh, you say? Four, going on four now? Holy shit! Was it always this? No, we just fucking wanted to include you, bitch. Stop being so fucking judgmental. We haven't been doing what? shit. I have to. I have to fucking. Up. Oh, I have to. Wait. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Iron Banner. Oh. oh. No, we've been no. doing it for like we yeah, just started when you came on. in, yeah. Well, actually, oh. they played one match and I finished my meta quest, and then you got cool. on. Cool. Right. So that was technically the first match that everybody's warmed up and warmed up as a team. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Sure. Team roll. <laughs> fuck you, positive thinking. All right. Whoa, don't don't fuck my positive thinking. I just, okay, I was wrong. I admit it. Yes, we are now warmed up. Damn. I have feelings, man. <laughs> <Keep lying. laughs> I'm just playing. I don't have any fucking feelings to do this. Damn, I hate this mat. I'm gonna do this. I hate you. And I'm gonna do this. <laughs> then I'm going to Oh, this is a oh it's not high enough. To... That's upsetting. Well, Iron Banner Control. Oh, well, that's that's not that upsetting. All right. Hmm. What map is this? Oh shit. Okay, I'm just gonna go to C. C. Oh, go to B. <laughs> Shouldn't have spawned so late, bitch. That poor guy was like, he walked out and he's like, hey, what map is it? And I had a grenade on him already. <laughs> yeah. One guy's one shot around the corner and I do.
All right, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna take up residence in the His tunnel. His health regains that fucking quick. Full armor, everything. Well, Damn, this guy's dead on shit. with the bad news hand cannon. Is it bullshit? Maybe he's got like ten recovery. That's bullshit. <laughs> I would yeah. kind of. I have a tendency to agree, considering the RNG nature of the of the weaponry or of the gear. But that's not might not be true anymore either, because shit's kind of all the same. Two of them in there. I don't have any help. Fuck off. I don't care about your smoke, bitch. I have healing aura. I'll sit here and heal through it. recover key. Not sarcasm. Dead serious. Zone B captured. Well, okay. Zone advantage is yeah, there's somebody at A. I'm going to go over this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's two of them at A. Capture C if you can. Oh, oh, you got it. Okay, cool. And B. Nice. That makes sense. I was wondering why it all pivoted on me. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Shotgun on B. C. It's C. Never mind. G. <laughs> yes. How did, did he not? What the fuck? He got four hits and survived. I think he was, I think he was spawning, though. That's so, what Keaton. It was. He Keaton. On that yeah. Game. Keaton, what I'm not hearing from you is any communication. I got the heavy and went and shot two of them, and one of them survived. I didn't know that because you didn't say any of that, man. Shouldn't have to when I have a fucking rocket launcher and I'm about to blast on two of them. That should be enough said. You see two deaths on the screen. That's what I said. <laughs> Wicked. There be. Thank you. I need a lot of help. Oh, he's fucking. Oh. <laughs> As he left the house, it's so shitty. All right, nice. Still keeping zone advantage. We're good. Thank you, David. He was trying to come around. Look at that, buddy. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my mama. Oh, my. God, dude, you can't spawn me and have somebody shooting at me. Get out of here. Say it again. The grenade was charged for a fucking while. This is bad. This is really bad. No, it's not. We're fine. Oh, good job. Oh, there's another grenade. Okay. Still ahead. Still in zone control. All this. Get it, Keaton. I'll try and predict. You're good. Keaton's got heavy. Ah. Keaton yes. with the kills. Oh, victory. And Gia. Keaton. With the kills, and I burned him. Cool, he's down. Keep going, Keaton. Get get, get those rockets off. We're ahead by a Keaton, pretty wide margin. Yeah, but we're not. Get off my boy, bitch. Nice. He's one shot. <laughs> I tried to melee him, but he shot me in the same instance. The other guy shot me. He was not having me killing his teammate. Whoa, there's too many people in there. Fine work. I expect nothing less. Coming around? Yeah. Damn, dude. The fuck? <laughs> Got one coming cool. to me. Cool, just take B too. Fuck oh, it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dude, you don't take B. See, you can't. <laughs> You can't just be like, oh shit, you gotta be like, I'm taking B, this is what's happening, nah, man, come on, Keaton. I got Nova bomb. What the fuck? <laughs> come on, Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> me, I shouldn't have to say anything. <laughs> you should, you should, though, regardless of whether or not you think you have to, you should say something always. Like, I've just spawned, I'm running, in. you need some sort of serious <laughs> protection. <laughs> The, they got, there's nobody at A, but I'm down at A. There's two people at A. Oh, I, I didn't <laughs> see those like guys. <laughs> I didn't see those guys, <laughs> my bad. A liar. I saw two people just run right out of A. <laughs> there's two people at C. Don't, don't worry about, okay, I was gonna guess who's here. Go, get him. Dude, what uh, fucking, fucking fusion rifle. Yeah. Oh, okay, guys, we're not ahead by that much anymore. Let's get back on it, please. <laughs> Cap A and then kill some people. Shadow shot? Where's that shadow shot at? Into the fire. See, because that's Keaton making noises. 
eating too much. Right, if you get the cash in. I can't, sir. Oh, oh can't. Ca -ca -ca. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I thought you guys were right behind me. Fuck. We're no, we're not. Everybody has their super, you guys. So one guy should go first over the next two minutes, and the next guy should go oh, next. Oh fuck! I saw that come. Oh, action bolt! Fucking. This is not. This is. This is not good. You know what? It might be okay. I doubt it. We're good. Sixty-four, forty-five. We're, we're actually doing a little bit better. We're good. We're good. Zone A lost. Get back here. Don't run. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You're right. Whatever. Man. Sarah, Sarah. I mean, I kind of am. Yeah, we're in the podcast right now, Sarah. We're having fun. This is what's this is what fun sounds like. Oh my motherfucker! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cap B. I don't know what happened just now. Shot a rocket and I got killed by two of them. Where the fuck are you? I see these things all near me. Where say something. We still didn't hear you say anything, Keaton. You gotta communicate. It's part of the game. Team don't ever change. You're older than me. All right. Ah, grenade kill. Double play. Fuck you. I'm still going hard because I love you, Keaton. I'm still trying to make this happen. We're gonna do this. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Fuck you. I was around the corner. Oh, there's another. There's two going to A. Two at Let him. You can take B. All right, I'm gonna go explode A. Fuck your overshield, you fucking cocksucking spawning son of a bitch. Yeah. Keaton, Wait, this is the exact opposite of you getting. Holy shit! There's somebody at B. Yeah, when did he get there? I don't know, man. All right, I'm gonna cap B. I, I suck. You don't suck, Keaton. You're just not paying attention to your needs. Oh my god, I just killed somebody. I just killed somebody with bouncing bullets on the fucking, on the fucking hard light. Yes. We run again. She killed me. I, I fucking shattered, disintegrated into fucking purple smoke, but still fucked him up. Two, two, two. Here you go, Keaton. You didn't do better this time, but you know why? Probably, maybe, I'm not saying that I know, but I'm just <laughs> suggesting that perhaps it was because you didn't communicate enough. That's okay. It's hard to remember. But once you get it down, I think it'll be really the key <laughs> to all your success. And also remember that we love you. I love you too, man. But I will not do anything what you just said. <laughs> there will be no <laughs> communication here. You just have to know what his noises mean. He just sounds constipated all the time. No, there are different shades of constipation in his voice. Oh yeah, I was gonna check this. What kind of shaders can I get on this shit? It's just a, okay. I'm gonna get the iron banner shader. Iron Banner. Oh no. Jesus, could you blow into the microphone, directly into the microphone a little bit more? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Keaton. <laughs> Sarah, I don't know where the fuck he's at. No. No. Where's Asher? Baloo. Who is it? Asher. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I basically live there. David, keep it said. All right, game on. This will probably be the last one. We got coming up on 12 what? minutes now. Not the last game. We're gonna keep playing, but the, the length of podcast uh, or let's play is uh ah. this. And now I don't know. Fuck. If, if we're gonna be on, I might as well just capture the rest of it and just have a separate let's play. You know what you captured? My heart. Thank oh. you. I, I also hope to capture the hearts of millions, many millions, on YouTube. Give all money. Via the PlayStation. Give give me money. I'm gonna sell shirts that say children are shitty. 
Throw. Some shirts that say Chiboy. Chiboy. Chibo oh, it's the oh, altar wait. of flame. It's our favorite map, y'all. Yeah, not a wholesome hoodlum, Sarah. That's why. The sweetest thing you tell me is how much of an idiot I am. What the hell? Don't don't call her an idiot, Sarah. That's not nice. Don't call her an idiot, Keaton. That's not nice. Way to fix it. Shut up. All right, here we go. Go me, go me. Well, it's not supposed to be nice. Can I call her Sasquatch? No. Does she have hairy feet? No. But no, you can't. It's... I'm gonna die. They're not gonna. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Stay on your healing you rift, you dumb fuck. People. There were two only people see you. Two only two people see you, or only you see you. Do you know? Oh yes. I don't fucking name. know, man. <laughs> I'm saying the markers for my helmet, the photo tracer, like when I when I mark somebody, can y'all see my mark? No. no. Okay. I would like to go to see. I think we that's a good idea. See that? See how quick of an approval that was? He's going to be immediately runs to be. You're good, stop rushing. I'm behind Alcum! You look at that! We fucked him up! Keaton, where you at? Boost mobile. He's in oh, I'm getting died! <laughs> Alright, go ahead and start that over. The sentence was not correct. Ah! I'm getting died! <laughs> Help. Oh shit, I wish I had another oh. beer. This is the last one. Ah! So uh. These these guys aren't using ridiculous weapons. I think I only heard one meter. Get to B. Somebody just take B. It looks like they're kind of making a tour around the ah, other edge. Oh, I saw that. You oh. bastard! Sorry, that was my mistake. Ah. He had two I'm shots. totally dead. Uriel's gift. Oh, choke on a Krabby Patty. Uriel's gift can't be stopped. It's over for you, Gia. <laughs> what? <laughs> he died. Keaton, Keaton, stop running. Stop running. You're rushing. You're rushing God. now. Crack shot in the fucking head! Alright, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab A. <laughs> lame? Yes, lame. Oh, well. That, that is the word that I said. Who are you talking about? Cool they're all people. Who is cool people? Not you. Oh, there's two of them. Bam. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Sarah, please! <laughs> We're losing by 20 fucking points already! Well said, shut up. I need to focus. You, I was all focused. We were playing good, and now I didn't you say that. Fucking disgusting feet on top of my feet. Are you kidding me? Yes, you, you I'm not. Yes, I'm not yes, kidding you. Oh, God. I can smell you from outer space. Oh, oh, what? Shut up. Oh my God, get away. Love. Oh my god! I don't like that at all. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, dude, this is the Sarah. Nice job. Yeah? Are you feeling shiny? I'm feeling shiny. Oh god, I'm stuck on this fucking wall! Come on! Hey, I know who Zell is. Only one person needs to be on the point, you guys. That's a PV. That's a PVE. Rocket launcher, dude. Is that the only rocket launcher you have? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go, stop. Stop. Burn. Burn. Yes. Burn, baby, burn. Just go on Damn. Yeah, that's somebody's name. I'm gonna get in front of this barrage of douchebags. Whoa. Good God, y'all. What is it good for? Good Absolutely, for. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Huh. Say, Say again. again. <laughs> yeah. huh. What is it good for? Absolutely. Alright, we're coming back. Sorry, man. I just want to go bathe outside. It feels so good. What? It's so what? cold and fall and pumpkin-y and Halloween and freaking monsters. <laughs> Why do you want to go outside then? That's terrible. We're fucking losing. Stop losing. I want to go trick or treating right now. 
All right, well, I'm on you. Such a loser. Do you have the, do you have the antidote to the losing sickness? Oh, shit, he's on me. Did he die? Fuck. How did I miss that one? That's some bullshit. Keaton, you're all on your own. Oh, by himself. I wanna be. Is that American Pie? Is that a short Creek? Whatever. Short Creek Pie? Kind of pie. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, that guy. It is a strawberry and cream pie from McDonald's. It is not an American pie. It is not a short creek pie. I have no idea what that second thing is. Good. <laughs> Thank you, G. <laughs> also, shut the door in your face. Bitch. Fuck you guys. We're ahead now. Keep fighting. No. They're coming my way to be. I'm coming on your face. That's nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys. No, no, sir. Nope, sir. Have you uh, decided what rating you want this to be? Uh uh, honey, don't. No, I don't want children watching, so it wants. I want it to be a hard R. <laughs> okay. Uh, one heading to. Yeah. Just shoot him. Shoot him. Just, you just gotta shoot him. You guys gotta shoot those guys when they start doing that shit with the super. You gotta just, just shoot him. Holy shit, they're all coming to me. I can't just shoot all of them. Ah! Man, if you were better. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Got you covered. Boo. I'm not gonna go out there, I'm gonna die if I do. Oh sh <laughs> He's taking B, that's smart I guess. One minute remains. Be careful, there's a guy with super over there. He's dead. Alright, take B back please. Nice. All of you <clears throat> together, like iron boards. Fuck you! Damn it! Fucking grenade! <laughs> Guys, hide. We only need. We're six. Yeah, we, we're, we're six good seconds. actually. We could. You could chill out for the next ten the seconds. They. They need to get to six solid kills. Go to the back of C. Oh, there's one that found me. Yes. Ten yes. Seconds. They found me! I don't know how, but they found me! Just stay here! Run, Blind Marty! Do my well, yeah, yes. Uriel's gift, bitch. Give it to me. <laughs> nice job. Alright, and that finishes us off with three minutes to spare, so we can still chill. We can still go. We could wait till the next sang, till the next you know, we're, load we're in. Pretty, we're pretty okay. Yeah. Two, two, two! Holy shit, again? Nice job. And Keaton, look at that. 1.44 and a victory. Fuck yeah, Keaton. You see that little bit of communication you did? Now do it like 10 times more and you're going to be at the top of the leaderboard, boy. Yeah, boy. Flavor flat. No, I'm sorry. So proud of you, Keaton. Oh and now this will be immortalized on YouTube forever or until... At least some sort of horrible natural yeah, disaster like knocks players. out all of the internet or electricity or eventual war between the nations uh, or aliens. Aliens. One. I was much better at Destiny 1 as well, but you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles, buddy. That's just how the cookie crumbles. And that's the way it was. I'm not so wait. Uh -huh. uh -huh. My God, fuck <laughs> off! Stop! <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's disgusting. You don't even know what you're doing, David. You're just making noises with your mouth. What are you talking it's also about? Bruce Almighty. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I guess that's also a thing. But he was doing the Walter Cronkite thing. Yeah, David didn't even travel the next day. You I uncultured didn't. swine. <laughs> <laughs> 
I hate this shit. I hate this shit. Save me. Save me. I know. I know it's why you do it. I fucking hate it. You hate it. <laughs> no, yeah, but like, like no, but it. that's the problem. It didn't start off as a one-time thing. It started off as this thing that you were gonna drive into the ground anyway, and then you did it. And then I was like, oh god, fuck! Please yeah, stop! Is, please did stop did driving this shit into the ground! And <laughs> please ruin this for me a little bit more. It wasn't funny to begin with, but it was fun. But let's good. just pervert this a little bit further. <laughs> and now you keep doing it. <laughs> Oh, it's God, fucking man. ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and then you do it, and then David's <laughs> bitch ass does it because he thinks it's funny to do it right behind you. It's like fucking idiot in stereo. I can't deal with this. I, don't, I do it good, though. David does it bad. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I fucking hate. I, I hate you guys sometimes. Oh, love us, internet. Love us. Give us. Give us oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck. You guys are the worst. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> okay, we got we got four more. It's <laughs> The team of two and then one, and then there's just no other guy. Stop! Raise your arms. Put your damn pants up, boy. So you're not helping. Me. All right. Well, we got 20 more seconds until the 60-minute timer, and I'm not going to be able to get into this. I'm not going to be able to do it while we do it. So I'm going to cut it here, and then if I feel like it, you might see the rest of this.